OK, welcome back to some breaking news regarding Manchester United's search for Eric Ten Hag's successor. As you can see, our chief reporter, Carvis Solicol, is with us, teasing us whenever you come into the studio, Cardiff. Um, what have you got for us? What's the latest news? Well, look, Sporting believe that Ruben Amarim's move from Sporting to Manchester United is a done deal. Uh, Amrim has told Sporting that he wants to move to United. But what Sporting are doing at the moment is defending their interests. And they want to make sure that Amrim leaves the club in the right way after United told them that they were willing to trigger his release clause of €10 million, Euros, which is just over £8 million. Pounds. Now, Amrim has a 30-day notice period in his contract and what he wants to do is move to United straight away. And he wants to take three of his coaches with him. So what Sporting are saying is, hey, hold on a minute. We need to be respected in this whole process as well. You've got this 30-day notice period. You want to take these three coaches as well. So we need to be compensated for that. And they're asking United for an extra €5 million. Euros which is just over £4 million. Now, the coaches he wants to take with him are Carlos Fernandez, Adelio Candido, and also his goalkeeping coach, Jorge Vital. Now, what is happening in Portugal, obviously, has caused a lot of controversy with sporting fans. Because sporting fans, of course, they ex accept the fact that they've got a fabulous manager who's in demand... Mm. But they thought that two years ago he signed this new contract and they thought that the contract had various release clauses in it. The first one was for Portuguese clubs because um, Amarim himself is a Benfica fan and the last thing Sporting wanted was for him to ever move to Benfica or, God forbid, go to Porto. So they made sure that his contract said... Any Portuguese club that you go to, the release clause is €30 million. Euros. Mm. Then everybody thought, sporting fans thought, that the release clause for all other clubs was €20 million. Euros. They thought, OK, that is fair. That's a big amount for any club to pay. But, of course, we've now discovered that at the moment there is this release clause of just €10 million Euros for so-called big clubs. And I think a lot of sporting fans are scratching their heads and thinking, what is going on? Why did we have such a low release clause for these big clubs? Because obviously these big clubs, especially from the Premier League, can easily afford to pay £8 million to mm. take our manager. So I think what Sporting are doing is, in a way, compensating for the fact that that low release clause existed. They want to make sure that they get whatever they can and they don't just roll over for United which is why they're saying, OK, you've triggered the release clause. OK, he's told us that he wants to move to Old Trafford. But hang on a second. We've still got to do things in a way that suits us as well as United. Putting you on the spot a bit here, but you mentioned some of the coaches who might be coming and who Ruben Amarim wants to come to Old Trafford with him. But is that any indication that Ruud van Nistelrooy might be staying or going? I mean, the United fans would love him involved in some capacity, wouldn't they? I mean... I would think that Ruud van Nistelrooy has bigger ambitions than just being part of uh, Ruben Amarim's uh, backroom staff or being just one of a number of coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, van Nistelrooy is somebody who's managed PSV. He wants to be a manager himself. I don't have any concrete information on whether he's going to stay or go, but you would think that once Amarim comes in with his own coaches, then Ruud would probably leave and look for other opportunities. What did you read into the, the post-match press conference with Amarim last night? Well, this is interesting because there is a sense that he was actually hung out to dry at that press conference because um, you know the way this works. At these news conferences, players and managers have a member of their club's media team sitting next to them. Mm. So senior executives at Sporting could have said to the media team, look, we want to protect our head coach this evening. He's going to go up in front of the media. There's media here uh, from England as well. Uh, the famous Gary Cottrell, the Rottweiler, uh, <laughs> is here as well. Look, we need to look after the manager. So, of course, people are going to ask questions about his future, mm. but limit it to maybe one or two questions. 
But that didn't happen at all. There were multiple questions about Amrim's future. And I think that was just another example of sporting defending their interests and not necessarily protecting their coach because they know he's off to United, but they want to make sure that it is done in the right way and that they are respected.